I'll, I'll say a few words and then uh, Jerry Richards will. And then if everybody's up for it and can absorb it, we'll have press come up and say a few words. I think very few. Very few, I, I doubt that. Um, this is overwhelming. I wasn't, we were not, ex I was not expecting this. Uh, you know, Tom and I talked about um, doing, doing this project and uh, the need for it. And we had some long discussions about where the building would be located. Um, you know, I, I wanted there to be a, a lasting, enduring symbol of what my dad has meant to so many people in this city. Um, and as, Tom, as, as Tom mentioned, he was a board member in the early 70s and was one of the driving forces, um, along with uh, you know Tom Dupre Sr. Um, and, and others that uh, they got this club built. And, and Tom's right, you know, press realized that we needed a place to play. We were running around in Canton and, and all these other places all the time. We needed a place in our own, uh, in our own backyard. But I remember, um, you know, growing up in the 60s, you know, we lived on State Street. And when we found out about the Boys Club on State Street, my brother and I were, were frequent um, uh, attenders there. We played three on three field hockey upstairs. There was, you know, all kinds of other activities downstairs, but there was no gym. And so uh, when, this, when this building came along, it was, it was a very big deal. Um, you know, for me personally, um, you know, it just, gosh, time goes by so quickly. Um, you, you blink and, you know, you're 60 years old and, you know, 50 years have passed and, and so much has happened. Um, but we really appreciate all the familiar faces here. Um, this is, uh, this is very important to me. And, and this, the, the donation for this building is made on behalf of myself, uh, my brother Bill, my sister Carrie, uh, their spouses, um, Monica Carlisle and uh, Tom McCarty, um, Donna and Abby, of course, and 19 grandchildren, um, 14 courtesy of my brother Bill. <laughs> I always knew he'd put up big numbers someday. Uh, unfortunately, they can't be here today. Um, my brother is on a long trip for another high school graduation out in Illinois, and my sister is uh, is up in uh, Parishville at their at their camp up there. So, but they send their best, and um, and so with that, um, Jerry, if you want to come up, and say a couple words, we appreciate it. Can everybody hear me all right? I wouldn't want you to miss a word of this <laughs> monstrous, the important thing. By the way, how many of you know what is actually going to be built here? How many don't know? Rick, tell them what they're going to have. Right. It's going to be a new gymnasium. It's going to be called the Preston C. Carlisle Youth Athletic Center, correct? Okay. In your name? All right. And this guy, this guy devoted his life to a lot of things. Number one, fighting for his clients and, you know, trying to kick Jerry's ass every day. You know, that's tough. Um, but the biggest thing he did, he was a giver. And he supported the dreams and hopes of his children, grandchildren, friends and relatives. And for me, this is, this is a, 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 a standing tribute that will be here in perpetuity that that is a, a symbol of of those efforts and a lot of, a lot of it had to do with the boys club over the years so go ahead a few okay. more words All right. okay. well, anyway it's going to be a very nice gym with a very nice soft floor and i don't know how many of you people know about gyms but they used to be hard as a rock they build them on concrete and put hard uh, wood on top of it and then about 20 years ago they wised up and they realized that there were a lot of people getting hurt because of that kind of floor that they had played on. And they started building floors this thick with cushions in, in between the wood and pretty soon you could walk across a, one of these new floors and you could see the thing did as you walked but when you played on it it was like playing on silk. And when we used to play with Rich we used to play up in, in Russell and they the gym there, it was just concrete floor. This this floor wasn't concrete, 
Clay was close enough to it, believe me. It was a, the hardest rubber. It was only about an eight, three eighths of an inch thick. And it sucked, if you want to. But it was better than what we had before, which was nothing. So anyway, and when they wanted to build, I was on the board when they decided to build the gym. And everybody wanted to have a gym 60 feet long. And I raised living hell because it had to be 90 or 94 for a full-size gym. And we fought and fought, and finally, it was 94. <laughs> but it wasn't easy, but nothing's easy. In this world, nothing's easy. And the marvelous thing is that the harder it is, the more fun it is when it's all over. And I, I am, I heard about this a couple of hours ago, the first time and had no idea that this was going to happen. And uh, I am flabbergasted and enchanted uh, by what's going on. And uh, certainly it was unexpected, absolutely. But it, it is so marvelous that it's going to be here and it's going to be really first class for all the people for a long time. These gems now. You know, they last a long time. They're soft, they're gentle, they're good. You can't get hurt on them, even if you fall down. Boy, I, I needed that in old days. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's enough. Thank you all for being here and being part of it. We got something else here. Listen, don't worry. We're going to have a nice floor in this gym.